Hello, I'm Dani. Welcome to the workshop. Today I will show you how to scale a sketch asymmetrically. This is not a standard feature included in SOLIDWORKS, but sometimes you just need it. While I was modeling Thor's hammer, I needed to scale the ornament which is on the edge just in one direction or a little bit asymmetrically. And for me, definitely, it was not an option to start building this complete ornament from scratch because it takes hours. So now I will show you how to scale a sketch asymmetrically. This is a Toro hammer that I have uh, modeled in SOLIDWORKS. When I started doing it, uh, I used the standard approaches, blueprints from internet, sketches from internet, but at the moment I have finished, it wasn't looking uh, correct, it wasn't looking real. So I just took a scene from the movie itself and rebuilt the hammer to match this scene as accurate as possible. Here you can see. the match with the picture. So on the right side is my model, on the left side is the original from the movie. The problem with this was that the ornament I have found and modified in vector uh, program so I can have a DXF for import was not in the correct scale to fill this area. And it was a problem because I'm adding the ornament on this step here. I already have built the hammer with the correct sizes and everything. If I scale the whole hammer, add the ornament and then scale it back, it's it will not fit exactly the sizes it should. So, how to scale a sketch in just one direction or asymmetrically in two directions. Reworking this uh, sketch will take me, I don't know, hours of work. So it was also not an option. What I did, I go to this pl plane here, add a new sketch, convert the entities mark all of them, make them a block, exit the sketch, pick some plane of the main planes, add a new sketch there, insert our block away from my original hammer, then make extrude boss, Now, I have the cutout area with exactly the same sizes as, in, as it is in the hammer. My next step is to add a new sketch to the face and insert my old ornament, which is the one here. Just insert it somewhere without attaching to anything and without scaling. And then I need it just to scale this. to fit my ornament. Okay, it's good to choose a body. It seems I need to scale it not only on X, but also on Y. As you can see, 
I put different values here. Okay, on y is too much. Here is a bit play with the numbers until you find the perfect fit. Okay. So for this sketch to fit fit in my area, I needed to scale down to 0 0.7 the x direction and to 0 0.93 the y direction. Now I move the sketch after the scale the scaling and adjust the position of the ornament itself to fit well. And after that I make an extrude boss. Our next step is to scale this back to the original sizes. For th this I need to show the original size. As you can see that it's really different fit. And insert a new scale of this body. And again we are playing the guessing game until we fit as close as possible to our original sizes. Now it's fitting almost perfectly to the sizes we need. And the next step that we will do, we add a new sketch Convert Entities, choose this face, select all inner loops. As you can see, there are two loops missing. Check here if Select Chain and Inner Loops is marked. If it's, just pick the two entities. And now we have our sketch scaled to fit. And what we have to do is just to make it as a new block. We add a new sketch on the area in which we want this block. Find our scale tournament, place it in that area. Exit the sketch and then we can delete all previous features because our block is also already transferred to a new sketch and it will stay there. And we have our sketch scaled. Just as comparison, I will enter this sketch again and insert the old ornament so you can see the difference in the two sketches. And that's it. We have our sketch asymmetrically scaled without changing our main component. Our tar hammer ornament is ready. Don't forget to like the video and if you want to see more such content, subscribe for the channel. See you next time on Thursday with my tutorial about SOLIDWORKS certification exam, extrude boss and cut.